Hmm, my people, a lot is happening in the political zone. President Bola Metunubu and his wife received a life threatening letter today, prone to what happened to in Okoma community, the use of the soldiers. And there is a video going viral online now that showcases everything that happened in Okoma community. One of the eyewitnesses came online and even said the President Bola Metunubu's life is not safe presently with everything that went down in Okoma community because these soldiers were actually used to perpetrate a whole lot of evil in that community and a whole lot of Nigerians don't know what is actually going on. And he even said that the military personnel that came to Okoma community never came for any peacemaking. And the whole everything that has been happening in the country that has been happening in that community has been exposed presently and you see a whole lot of other atrocities that these soldiers have been used with that have been used to perpetrate and this eyewitness actually make everything to be exposed and even Kenneth Okonko on mic on the podcast with Oshin Okinbalo he exposed a lot of things about President Bola Metunubu and you will see he said a whole lot of things that anarchy is looming in the country and you will see with everything that is going on with the present situation in the country the killings and adoption you will see that there is just as if you are running a country without any government and everything is actually turning into the eyes of the terrorists you see a whole lot of things in this video my people stay put and you see everything in this video my people share this video to every social media platform if you cannot share like it give it thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us <laughs> it's happening in the street again the center of political news celebrity gossip religious gossip and happiness in the society join us the voice of Africa. Welcome you to Large Report TV Show, where we bring you political, celebrity, and religious gossip. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to click the red subscription button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you anytime we drop another trendy video. Before I play the video for you in this video, you will see the an eyewitness what he said about what went down in the Okoma community, the killings and everything that has been happening in the Okoma community. And it's not today that, that the military men are already being sent to Okoma community to come and perpetrate such evil. And he even said that the last people that were actually taken away by these military men were slaughtered gruesomely by this military men and that's the reason why at the time they came again to come and do the same thing that they wanted to take their community leader that was the reason why the community retaliated and when they were started when they wanted to take their community leader that was the reason why they never allowed them to take their community leader and that's when they started killing them and they, they had no choice than to retaliate and you see in this video everything went down even the even the life-threatening letter that president bola metinubu received everything showcased and went down in this video and you will see that in a country whereby somebody can single-handedly come to the government to say that they should come and employ him to come and buy him to be able to speak with the terrorists is, is the air country for nigerians what is the essence of our government what is the essence of our security men is it that these people are actually doing all these things intentionally my people stick to your video to see everything as i everything went down in this video a whole lot of a whole lot of criminality and shenanigans and corruption that has been going on in the government were exposed in this video kenneth okoko made everything known to everybody in this video my people stick to your screen as you watch the video we come back we we'll wrap up this one now be my last video when i go do consigning this Okuama and Okoloba fight. Okuama and Okoloba, they get land issue. The land issue, small crisis called the day. Oh, now, where be is your people? Where federal government give power to the bomb bakery, to the bomb dessert, and they cook. They use the same army, they escort their own, they go sell. They betray their own blood. That man, you go use the army carry people from Okwama community. Three people where they carry, they slaughter them. Now, they know they come back to come carry community leaders. And I know very well, say, once the community leaders are captured, the youth are powerless. The action take place. When they make comments, say, now peacekeeping, all those army come point of correction no army come for peacekeeping that they fight in favor of tompolo because tompolo have ordered them to do so when i say make i show my face all these on a comment one of the comments now just ordinary written now writing on just the right if i know if you talk through for this is my land you know get where i go go when i go talk to when i go believe him. now this video will be the last video when i go do my papa a retired captain for this Nigeria. He died last year, retired as a captain in the army. And I don't lost overseas of my friends and relatives for this Nigeria. Remember, as an army, this Nigeria is not worth dying for as a country. They let you know. So, if you wanna like, I'm gonna carry this matter from here to the next level. For a like, me federal government declare me wanted. 
I'm proud of it. Yes, I'm proud of it. Now they say, show your face. If I show my face, what do you go do me? What do you go do me? So to talk through for this country now, a crime. No wonder what they say, truth is always bitter. Crisis day between two community. I don't know if you call the elders. I don't know if you call the leaders to settle the issue amicably. If they want to oppress one side for other side, if they call them peacekeeping. I said they keep peace. Okay, now I go school pass. Now I know the law pass. Now so oppression. This country, eh, if not before one thing, eh, I for say, eh, make it be like that. North, they or not. South, they or south. All army, if you deserve this country, serve with sense. If you be police, police with sense. This Nigeria, your country is not worth dying for. I they tell now, do not get sense. Why should you even threaten a full blooded indigent? that is speaking out of pain caused by a failed leadership. Yes, Tom Polo too should be questioned, if not threatened as well. This is Nigeria and this is democracy. Freedom of speech and expression of impartial judgment should be allowed for a fair hearing. That fellow just spoke his mind. How many of you can do that? If we have more people like this, I guess things will start getting better. Yes, let's expose the ills in our society. Let's expose the ills in our nations. The Niger Delta militants and the Nigerian army. What do you have to say on this particular issue? Please give a thumbs up to the subscription button and follow us up on every other social media platforms. I am Patience Ubud for Voice TV Nigeria. don't know the damage you're doing to the image of our armed forces that you're allowing somebody to come to Asorok sitting on the coat of arms meaning he's bearing the effrontery of the government to call our military men thieves first and foremost I accepted Muslim Christian ticket I campaigned for a Muslim in northern Muslim when it was even unpopular to do it in my place and I have done it twice with President Buhari Musa Yaradua President Buhari these are Muslims from the north from the Sharia compliant states I have no regrets most of my political friends are Muslims so when you go muslim muslim ticket i rejected it because it's unconstitutional what part of the constitution is this we are talking about section 14. we are talking about the constitution says the composition of any government and the conduct of its affairs must be done in such a manner as to recognize the federal character you must recognize the diversity of your country it did section 14 3 and 4 and he said the reason is this by the constitution so that your government can command national loyalty and give everybody a sense of belonging you know the truth the people that are suffering most in this government today are Muslims. So what has the Muslim Muslim ticket benefited them? It was a political strategy. It was not a religious strategy. But it worked. It failed. Because they won the election through technical glitch. What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is that technical glitch glitched the original election. And by 4 30 a.m when people were asleep they gave us results that emanated from technical glitch they failed 
but those who believe that uh, your position as to who won the election was wrong to do legally religion and procedurally uh, Heineck declared yes. the person who won the election mm -hmm. the court at two different occasions declared that Bola Tinubu and the APC won the election but you don't believe it right I was in the court of appeal the first orders we asked the court of appeal to give to us was an order that I next should allow us to inspect the beavers. Three others. I neck obeyed none of it. And yet I neck went to the same court and told the court to give them order to reconfigure the beavers before we inspected it. And the court did nothing. And then when we proceeded in the hearing of the case, the court now said we had 21 days to produce every evidence which INEC refused to give us. And then they say subpoena witnesses cannot come to give witness to come, they cannot come to give evidence after 21 days. 176,000 pulling units. They say we should prove it pulling unit by pulling unit. And you have three weeks. Is that not the position of the law? I disagreed with them because from the law I read, it couldn't have been the position. Because you are dealing with an adversary who you say did something wrong. The adversary has interest in hiding information from you. And then you caught your saying. If he can hide this information and this evidence from you for 21 days, your case is dead. It couldn't have been the intentment of the law. But the court says that, I mean, for you, you are claiming yes. and alleging yes. that there is no substantial mm -hmm. uh, compliance with the electoral law. Oh, yes. And uh, you, it, the law says you must prove beyond reasonable doubt. The, the law is very clear on electronic transmission. Now, let me tell you the rule of law. In one case, miscellaneous offenses tribunal versus Okora for the defined rule of law as doing everything according to the law and making sure the government actions are done according to the law. And that case excluded discretionary powers and arbitrary powers of government. And you know what the courts ruled? They said INEC had the discretion to choose whether they would transmit electronically or not. That is tangentially against even the fundamental definition of rule of law. No creature of law is allowed to use arbitrary power or discretionary power to do anything. That's against rule of law because the definition of rule of law is that everything must be done according to law and the law is very clear you must transmit electronically section 65 is there then if you don't want to say section 65 because they don't use certain words what about section 64 mr okonko what is the standard of proof in an election matter election matters are so generic the standard of proof is balance of probability because it's a civil proceeding. Mm -hmm. However, if you are alleging any offense within the criminal proceeding by the Evidence Act, the standard of proof of that particular allegation which is tainted with crime must be beyond reasonable doubt. doubt. So these are two different things. So I am asking. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I ask for the standard of proof in this matter, which is civil in nature, of course, when you say that people have manipulated yes. the process, you're talking a criminal dimension into uh, what is generally a civil, uh, a civil situation. But the question is that those who believe that the lawyers in the Peter Obi matter did not do justice in trying as much as possible to tell the court that the election was rigged. Yeah. 
And there are those who say the, the lawyers should blame themselves no. and not blame the process no, 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 of the no, law. No, 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 no. The process of law is very clear. The court told you that INEC has discretion. Where is it in the law? And I'm saying it is fundamentally wrong because that goes against the judgment of Supreme Court. Against what rule of law has defined itself as. I told you that rule of law rules out discretionary powers. And INEC is a creation of the law. INEC itself made rules and regulations and say they must transmit electronically. After that 2023 election, I watched your program and you were asking some of the electoral officers because you wanted yourself to know what is the position of the law. Are you going to transmit electronically? And they say yes. They will transmit electronically. That that is the position of the law. In your program. Meanwhile, the court said no. That's not the position of the law. Because they, they have a discretion to do whatever they like. Can you imagine? And the Supreme Court supported it. I disagree with that. And I will continue to disagree with that. Perpetually. Because it's a destruction of rule of law. INEC is a creation of the law. And INEC must do all its work according to the law. A creation of the law is telling you what the law is. And you, the court, is saying, no, that's not the law. Is that not ridiculous? Mm, are those who believe that the elections are over, uh, the winner has been declared, the losers have been declared, is it possible that Kenneth Okonko move on from this? Why not? Have you moved on? I have not moved on because you have not moved on. Why did you ask me? Because of your belief and your standpoint, Good. which may need some clarity. And that's why I'm asking you. That's why I clarify. So if you move on, I will move on. Have you accepted that Bola Tinubu is Nigeria's president? I've been asked this thing before. The Supreme Court is the final court of the land. I said the judgment of the Supreme Court has bestowed constitutionality on his regime, but not democracy. Democracy is the government of the people. The power must verifiably flow from the people. I have not been convinced that his power flew from the people because the people have not been told according to the Electoral Act, Section 62. They've not been given their results, pulling unit by pulling unit and tabulated and calculated and answer given. If you have seen such, please let me know. I have not. And in mathematics, if you go straight to code the answer without the formula, they will tell you probably you stole it. So if you have seen the formula with which they arrived at that conclusion, you as a journalist, pulling unit by pulling unit, I will be willing to cross-check it. The judiciary, when we went to Mr. court, Kukunko. when we went to court, by the IREF portal, we were able to calculate to show that we won the election in Benue and we won the election in Rivers. But they said no, it's not admissible because he came by a subpoena witness which brought his evidence after the 21 days. So sorry. The, the judiciary is a leg in our democratic process. So if the judiciary the says President Tunubu is the president. That is why he's answering president. Yeah, but do you see him as your president though? I wouldn't know what you're saying. I said the Supreme Court is the final court. The first statement I made was that I disagree with the Supreme Court. But because I'm a Democrat, I accept the judgment. That is the judgment the Supreme Court said. And that is what I accepted. But will you be willing, for example, not yes. because you're a, Ni no, you're a Nigerian, yes. and you said you have accepted this, are you willing to, to move on and perhaps in some way help this government to succeed? very well if you are called today yes. by the government of the day to work with them yes. would you take it criticizing the government constructively is part of helping them but if and you are actively doing, called yes. to play a role and mm -hmm. an announcement is made yes. that kenneth Nkunko is taking this role in this government would you take it i am enjoying the role i'm playing now so you will not take which it which is to critically analyze whatever they are doing and profile solutions so well you will not take any role my preference is what i am doing now to be a critic to be an opposition leader so that's the job of the opposition leader
So, but for the sake of the nation, would you be willing to work with this government? I think the government needs me. They need me. The government needs me more as an opposition leader. You, do you have a feeling that, in some way, that Nigeria is headed for in the right direction under this government in the last nine months? Anaki looms. Where? In Nigeria. How do you mean? Anaki is defined as a state of disorder due to absence of or non-recognition of authority or other controlling systems. In this nation now, you could see the absence of government in the security and welfare of the people. Total absence. Let's take the issue of security. And you see why I always cry about rule of law. Anarchy is the absence of rule of law and the presence of state of nature, which Thomas Hooks described as being characterized in a nation where life has become short, brutish, nasty, poor, and solitary. We are approaching the state of nature. Take the issue of security. More than 200 persons were massacred on the eve of Christmas in Plateau State. Where was your government? They were in Lagos celebrating Christmas party. Absence of government. Shame. In March alone. March has not reached. Today is 20th. So meaning within two weeks of March, more than 165 farmers have been killed and 3 billion naira demanded as ransom. Farmers, we have 109 senatorial zones in Nigeria, meaning for the first two weeks of March, average of more than one farmer has been killed in every senatorial zone. Absence of government. We have seen in this March how 287 innocent children and poop heels we are taken in Kaduna and headed like cattle into the bush without anybody confronting them. No security presence, absence of authority as anarchy. Would you blame all of this on this present government? You have seen how our men on uniform, 17 of them, massacred in South South. When this government came in, they gave their office, the villa, with coat of arms to a non-state actor to malign our officers, to call them thieves. Is it by accident that the massacring of those 17 soldiers we are from the area we are the same person that called them thieves came from? I shouted and warned because I've been a lawyer to the army and I'm bearing a wound in my heart that I defended some officers in the court martial. One case is for them. Some of them went into the field and they were massacred by bandits, terrorists. So I am personally pained. I shouted. I said, this government, you don't know the damage you're doing to the image of our armed forces that you're allowing somebody to come to Asorok sitting on the coat of arms meaning he's bearing the effrontery of the government to call our military men thieves now you have seen that the people are now treating the military men as thieves massacring and killing them when they just want to make peace in march alone that can be described as much madness in the southeast, you saw how people went into the UNTH Medical College and abducted the deputy director and the security man. In the southwest, you saw how two traditional leaders were killed and they stretched their hand to Kwara and killed another traditional ruler. In Sokoto, you saw the way they were kidnapped. In Boronu, who will go to IDP camps. I've just mentioned the six geopolitical zones where it's safe. In FCT, Nabiha died. 
and this government you see these bandits do no longer recognize the authority of this government that's why somebody has the f to come out publicly and say let me negotiate let the government buy me to negotiate with the terrorists that was why the terrorists kidnapped 287 persons and demanded 40 trillion naira as ransom why they are looking at themselves as the government that is anarchy non-recognition of the authority of government and we're talking only about security you want to talk about the economy and you will be amazed and you want to talk about rule of law the problem is that this government does not even articulate its policies before bringing it out look at the student loan scheme a government on its own prepared the law took it to the national assembly in national assembly it's not only appointees that take a bow and go even legislation take bows and go the national assembly the photocopy national assembly allow the student loan scheme to take a bow and go and the executive now discovered that they could not even implement it because the provisions are unimplementable and nobody in the national assembly even pointed it out the executive had to go back to national assembly to write another bill student loan scheme their own policy the bill was from them and they confessed it was unimplementable by their own letter within nine months and the bow and go national assembly they still took the bill and told the amended bill to bow and go first subsidy is gone they are paying almost a trillion naira monthly on first subsidy so what have they achieved apart from punishing the people employment expatriate employment levy they introduced it without even consulting man manufacturer association of nigeria they have now removed it they sanctioned niger republic ill advisedly punished the whole eight northern states predominantly muslims the muslim muslim ticket and after nine months they removed it the republic said no we're not ready yet you know why because you may have the right to declare when a war will commence but you will not have the right to declare when it ends my people you will see what the high witness actually said about everything that went down in okoma community now coming down to what kenneth okoko said in everything that happened throughout the time during the election period down to the present moment that we are presently you will see everything that kenneth okoko said he hit the nail on the head on every question he was asked and how he answered those questions you will see the direct answer he gave to all everything that happened during the election period the criminality and the shenanigans that went down and the corruption that went down in the supreme court with everything and bending of rules of law you will see everything that he said in that video can you imagine in a country that somebody has the importance that the government should come and buy him so as to be able to negotiate with the terrorists in a country that over 200 students were kidnapped and were asked and the government were even asked for ransom and you see that even though president bola metinobu refused to pay the 42 b 42 trillion ransom that he demanded for but presently you see that all these things is more like an anarchy that is actually looming with what he said and how an anarchy is looming because in this country now with every situation that is going on now it shows that there is no government they want to turn the country to a country that has no government that has no leader with everything that is actually going on you will see in a country that kidnapping and abduction and everything is being done in the daylight you can see how the economy is going down the drain with everything that Kenneth Koko said here you see that he hit the nail on the head and with the evil that all these military men were used to perpetrate you know Koma community nobody actually believed that these are the things that the government have been using the military men most time mostly the, nobody believed that this is what the military men has been have been used for mostly in the country why the military men are supposed to be protecting the lives of property are now the one killing the citizens of the country you see burning the bunkery and how everything that does eyewitness said in the video and even all these things were not open to the call to the to the public a whole lot of nigerians were still even doubting everything that was said by the government because with the way they were talking a whole lot of secrecy was in the, all the things that they were actually telling nigerians and you see with what kenneth Koko even said here you see that a whole lot of things is coming down to nigeria even the with the way every situation with the way the situation of the country is present it shows that anarchy is actually looming and this thing can actually lead to war and after this war comes up a whole lot of a whole lot of lives will be lost and it's not today that our military men have been perpetrating all this evil and 
and the corruption that has eaten up into the flesh of the judiciary our, our government has also eaten up into the military and you see everything that the military men were doing and you see that that was what actually led to the death of those soldiers that went to okoma community those people cannot be looking at their people being killed that's the reason why they retaliated and with everything that is going on with all these secrets with all this secret that has been exposed to the public our government still believes that it is the work of the terrorists they don't want to come out straight to the to the to the public even though the public already know that a whole lot of shenanigans are actually going on there and nigerians have seen everything that went down my people with everything that you've seen in this video please do well to share your opinion at the comment section let nigerians see what you feel about the present situation of this country and don't forget to share the video to every social media platform if you cannot share like it give it a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us and if you are coming across this channel for the very first time do well to click the red subscription button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that youtube will notify you anytime we drop another trendy video see you in our next video bye for now